first bait going down. Mr. Pinfish. What's up everybody? Donnie here, welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be doing some gag grouper fishing. Throw our first bait down there. Oh yeah, yeah I sent that pinfish. Hopefully I sent it into uh, Mr. Grouper's mouth. <laughs> It's always messy over here at the spot, man. There's like blood everywhere. Look at this, it's like a fish massacre. Water's a little dirty. It's outgoing tide right now, but um, hopefully they're feeding today. Oh, dang, I let my guard down, man, again. We're gonna see if he'll come out. Drop my phone too. <laughs> I don't, I don't I don't know why I was on the phone man hooked up onto a gag while I'm on my phone let's see if you come out oh, damn it. we're gonna wait him out guys came out guys There he is. He might not even be. He might not be that big. That's why he rocked me. He's not even that big. Sure, he's probably like 20 inches. Fought though. This guy freaking fought. Usually these smaller guys are rocking, but look at that. He scraped up, man. Look at that. Woo! First fish of the day. Not bad. I'm gonna let this guy go. See ya. Man, <sighs> caught me off guard again. Don't know why I was on my phone. I guess I was waiting for the bite. I'm like, okay, let me just get on my phone for a little bit. The next thing you know, he whacks it. <laughs> Tried to find my pocket, couldn't find my pocket. Just dropped my phone on the ground and then I was rocked. Usually I think the smaller ones will rock you. But if you get like a 24 or a, a over slot, there's less chance of them rocking you just because they're so big. All right, we're gonna throw another, another pinfish down. There we go. Hopefully this one gets whacked. Hopefully we get a, a 24 incher or, or above. Man, that wind is howling and it's ripping that tide out. And it's, it's, I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's kind of hard to pull them in because that tide is like really ripping out and you're actually fighting against the tide too and not just the, the fish itself you know it's insane when these gag grouper hit especially the bigger ones sometimes when an over slot hits you can't even close the bail because they just strip lines so fast that when you try to close the bail the line just keeps stripping out so it like it keeps the uh the bail open can't really do anything except uh keep trying until you really close that bail and then and then you're able to crank if that, sometimes you can't even lift the rod tip up because they're so powerful. Come on, Mr. Pinfish, do some work. What kind of grouper is this, guys? What is that? No idea what it is, man. He's got the coral in him, too. Oh, it's a gag grouper. No way. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh. He took a piece of the coral. Oh my god. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Woo. That might be a keeper, guys. Pumped. Zero. 24. All right, guys. First keeper, man, in a while. This guy's right on 24. I think we're gonna take him. The tide just came to a complete stop. It's slack tide right now. So when you cast the bait out there, he's just staying at one spot. So it's no good. Always wanna fish the uh, the moving tide and fishing off the pier. I think I think you can get them like underneath the pier too, but I've never tried that myself. I've seen guys do it with their Carolina rig, with a, a big old pinfish attached at the, uh, the end of the line. But it wasn't a bad day. We caught a, a, a undersized and a 24 incher right on, right on dot and we're keeping him man he's legal <laughs>